become your strength, release your limitless potential. Welcome to another video, guys. Today I just wanted to make a bit of a spontaneous video about this book. Uh, it's called Talk Like Ted, Nine Public Speaking Secrets uh, of the World's Top Minds. Okay, So this is a book that I've been planning to do a video about for such a long time now. Uh, but you know, when I when I planned to make a video about this book, I had so many other stuff to do that I just my mind was like poof, exploding. <laughs> so I had to I, I actually didn't get to do it, but that is what I'm going to do today. So the topic of today's video is how to inspire people every single day. Now this is a book written by Carmen Gallo. Uh, primarily for people that want to become great public speakers. Talk like Ted, right? Um, but the secrets in this book, the tools that are in this book can, can be implemented into your life in so many different ways. If you want to, if you're going to meet a new person at a cafe, for example, you can use the tools in this book to uh, make your present yourself in a much more interesting way. You can channel. Every, every one of us goes around carrying carrying with us a story, a life story, right? And it can always this story can always be inspiring to other people. It doesn't matter where you come from, what you've done throughout your life. It will always be inspiring to other people. I remember that. Uh, I reviewed this book called Riveting, and in this book, which is basically all about why we are affected, how we are affected by different things in media and, st and stuff like that, uh, one of the key points in this book, in that riveting book, was that we are extremely affected by other people. We find a huge interest in other people. That's our natural way of being, <laughs> right? That is what we feel attracted to automatically. So in order for you to be more appealing and more interesting to other people, you can absolutely use these tips and secrets that are in this book. So without any more further ado, let's just get into this. Uh, these secrets. I'm mainly going to share, only going to share the secrets in this book. So secret number one, passion is contagious, okay? <laughs> if I talk with a lot of passion, a lot of passion, passion through this camera to you guys, if I talk with passion in this video, I become automat automatically much more interesting. It is contagious. If I have a lot of passion in the way that I'm talking to you, if I share a lot of feelings in and, and put feelings into this topic that I'm talking about, you will feel those feelings as well, right? So that's a very, very important thing. Be passionate about the things that you like. Talk about things that you love, right? Because that's how you perpetuate passion. And passion is contagious. Okay, uh, so that's secret number one. Secret number two: tell stories. So as I just told you, we all carry with us different stories, right? We have a whole set of different stories in our lives, and people would love to hear them. We love to hear about stories. And it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't matter if it's something you just come up with, or if it's actually a real life example or a real life story. It doesn't matter because we get stimulated by it either way. Okay, so tell stories. It creates images in other people's minds that, which basically makes them more cap. Uh, how do you how do you say it? Uh, they. Uh, they focus more on you, right? And you stimulate other people in a much better way. The subconscious mind actually can't see the difference between a story and something that is, that is happening right in front of them, 
right? So that's why it's so powerful. Uh, secret number three, I have to take a look at the <laughs> my book here. Have a conversation. So this is basically if you're meeting someone, it is very, very important to be uh, active in the conversation, right? And it's the same. It's the same way with public speakers as well. If you want to stand in front of a huge audience, a huge crowd, it is very important to actually have this uh, to to have this close bond with the audience, right? Because if if you talk to the audience directly to the audience, ask questions, ask them to to visualize like uh, thoughts and uh, images in their minds, then it becomes much more personal, right? It almost feels like when, when I, uh, a public speaker is talking to you in front of like thousands of people, it may be thousands of people, maybe two or three or four people. The way that you have your conversation will affect each and every one of them. So you have to make it like, it seems like you are talking to that one person. If you're talking in front of 10,000 people, it doesn't matter if it's, uh, it's no difference between 10,000 and 10, right? You have to make it seem like you're talking to each individual, okay? Because that's how you make it personal. So that's the third secret, have a conversation. Make it personal, okay? The fourth secret is to present novel info, novel knowledge. What does that mean? Well, if you present something novel, you're basically presenting a fact that people haven't didn't know about before, <laughs> okay? And this stimulates the brain. I think there was like a chemical dopamine or something. I, I'm, I'm, don't trust me on this guys, but there was like there's like this um, chemical that the brain sends out when you learn something new, which actually actually creates this good feeling inside you. So present something new. Try to teach something something new. Tell a funny fact, I don't know, <laughs> or at least present something that people already know in a new way. Present it in a new package. This will really feel, make other people interested in you. It will inspire them. The fifth secret is to deliver draw-dropping experiences, okay? Now this can be a little bit hard because, you know, draw-dropping experiences. Well, here's an example. I think it was, uh, what is it called? Not Steve Jobs, but this other guy who invented Microsoft. You know the guy, right? He had like this public speak, public speak, uh, he had a speech, okay, and uh, before his, his speech, I believe that he opened this jar with flies, not not flies, but uh, uh, what do you call them, uh, <laughs> I tend to forget things all the time, all the time, mosquitoes, yeah, he released it into the, into this full room with a lot, with all these people, it was quite odd, it was, so weird. Why, why did it do this? I mean, are mosquito bites healthy or something? <laughs> I don't know. But it was jaw dropping. It was something different. It was absurd. And if you are yourself, I bet you can do at least something that seems very absurd. We all can do that, right? I mean, I can take this soap and wipe it on my face and say to you like, hey, this will make you younger. Woo, yay! <laughs> I feel so much younger now. And that's a draw-dropping experience. I gotta wipe out this shit now. <laughs> oh, God. Why did I do this? I smell really good, though. That's the positive thing. <laughs> okay, moving on. Use humor. Use humor, make people smile. That's one of the most important ones. At least that's what I think. Because when you make people smile, when you use humor to make people laugh, what happens? 
<laughs> uh, fake laugh. Hashtag fake laugh. <laughs> you are basically making them vibrate. <laughs> it's a vibration, right? So you're making other people open up. When you say something funny, a joke, you're basically making the situation less tense. You are making other people vibrate. And what happens when other people vibrate? They discharge energy, right? They release energy and they become more open to have a free flow of energy. That's why people love humorous people. <laughs> that's how easy it is. It makes them more open, right? So that's secret number number six. So secret number seven, and this is more for people that are into like public speaking. You should only use 18 minutes when you have like a speech. This isn't really that important if you're talking to another person because if you're talking to another person, I don't think that you are the only one talking for 18 minutes, for 40 minutes, right? <laughs> you have an ongoing conversation with each other. But if you're into public speaking, if you want to um, inspire other people by making videos like I'm doing right here, or if you want to inspire people by actually standing in front of an audience, then use 18 minutes only, okay? So that's secret number seven. Secret number eight is all about creating multisensory experiences. What, what are multisensory experiences? Well, as I told you in my video about learning, uh, accelerated learning, you have so many different ways of learning new things. There are so many ways that you can learn new things. You can hear, you can smell, you can uh, go about acting, right? You can move around with your body, you can read, you can paraphrase, there are so many ways that you can learn new stuff. And if you want a, a person to memorize you, if you want a person to really be affected and inspired by the things that you're saying, or your personality in general, you need to not only talk to the person, you need to touch the person, right? This does not only create multisensory, a, a multisensory experience because you're touching the person, you're also gaining more trust, right? If you're shaking hands when you meet, meet the person or when you meet the people, you make more trust, right? Because you come in fear. You come to share, you you do not come in fear, you come to share, right? <laughs> so, yeah, you can shake hands, yeah, touch other people, co uh, body contact, right? You can tell stories, that's another way of creating multi-sensory experiences by creating images in another, people's, in another person's mind. Um, and tr try to be creative with it. It's all about just making this person experience you in different ways physically, mentally, through uh, a conversation, right? Uh, a more, in a more deeper, deeper mental level by actually creating images and so forth, right? Uh, so that's the one, the eighth secret. Now the last and ninth secret is all about I want to remember this guys <laughs> I'm trying to remember these. Stay in your own line. That's the ninth secret in this book. You want to stay in your own line. What is what does that to do with this video? Well if you want to inspire another person it doesn't matter if you want to if you want to inspire another person through a simple conversation, one-on-one -on -one conversation or in front of a huge audience. If you want to be perceived as an inspirational person, you need to show some authenticity, right? So that is so important. How do you show authenticity? Well, you just have to be yourself. 
you 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 just have to create this self love a self love for yourself so that you actually can express yourself in a great way that's all, all that's the only thing that you need to do <laughs> it sounds very weird but for a lot of people it is hard to actually love yourself and express yourself in a in a pure way so what can you do in order to create this this courage if you have problems expressing your yourself as the one you are if you're trying to pretend to be someone else then how can you create the courage to act actually be yourself well in my personal life and this is only my personal experience uh, I find it very a, a very great tool is affirmations or affir affirmations if you tell yourself at a daily basis that you love yourself that you're happy with yourself that you're comfortable with just being yourself and if you do these affirmations like one day when you wake in, first thing in the morning first thing before you go to bed each and every day you will gradually build this confidence and you will uh, start to gradually uh, choose to express yourself for the one you are right so that's it that's nine secrets okay I can show you a quick recap give you a quick recap of all these things passion is contagious tell stories have a conversation deliver novel info use humor deliver jaw-dropping moments max 18 minutes if you're doing like a public speaking event thingy use multi-sensory experiences and stay in your own lane so that's all the nine secrets um, I hope this was interesting that it helped you in one way or another to inspire other people I hope that I also hope that this video got you one step closer towards finding your limitless potential if you have any questions any requests anything at all guys then please share a comment in the comment section below and I'll answer everyone um, yeah also leave a like share and subscribe if you like this video or any of my other videos um, so yeah see you guys hopefully in my next video tomorrow or in another day <laughs> so uh, until then guys stay tuned bye